Sudan is bracing for a two-day nationwide strike from Tuesday called by protesters to pile pressure on the military to hand power to a civilian administration as talks remain deadlocked. Leaders of the Umbrella Protest Movement, the Alliance for Freedom and Change, and army generals who seized power after ousting President Omar al-Bashir last month, have so far failed to iron out differences over who should lead a new governing body, a civilian or soldier. The new governing body is expected to install a transitional civilian government, which in turn would prepare for the first post-Bashir elections after a three-year interim period ends. In a bid to step up pressure on the generals, the protest movement has called for a two-day general strike starting on Tuesday. The response to the call for a strike has been better than we expected, said Sadiq Farouk, a leader of the protest movement. The two-day strike aims to deliver a message to the whole world that the Sudanese people want a real change and they don't want the power to be with the military, he told AFP. Protest leader Wajdi Saleh told reporters late Monday that there was still no breakthrough in negotiations but the protest movement was ready to negotiate if the generals offer fresh talks. Saleh did not rule out an indefinite strike at a later date if the deadlock continues. But we hope that we reach an agreement with the military council and won't have to go on an indefinite